Alright, well, I've been back and I've picked up another batch. So first off, here's this lovely Han Solo here. And this is from his famous scene where he shoots Greedo in the chest. And it's a really nice, fantastic uh, Power of the Force figure, that one. This is where they kind of were going back to more realistic looking body types rather than when they were all on the steroids and stuff. And there's also this fantastic Princess Leia. Uh, that's like very iconic from when she's leaning over and sticking her um, memory stick into R2-D2 and stuff. And she even goes with the blaster so you can uh, shoot a stormtrooper, which is also pretty cool. So I've got those two, and I also got this Power of the Force, Anakin Skywalker. Um, a pretty decent little upgrade on the original. Um, for all, like you only ever see him in the very end of the film, and he's in his ghostly form. Uh, the fact that he got another figure, which is pretty cool, um, and the fact that this this character no longer exists. You know, he's been deleted. So again, another cool thing to have, I guess. Goes in the sets. Um, picked up some of the, some more of these Power of the Jedi's. I really do like these Power of the Jedi figures. Like <clears throat> again, yes, I know they're. They are dated now, I mean they're kind of from like 1999, 2000 and stuff, but uh, this one unfortunately doesn't really show it in the packet. It's Darth Vader from Dagobah when like Luke's doing his training and stuff. And there's nothing on it to show yet where its action feature is. And it, if you check it out, I mean like its helmet is, to uh, sorry, its head is detachable. And the front of the mask comes off to reveal Luke Skywalk's face. Surely that should have been like detached and open to see in the packet I mean you know it's kind of such a shame that you can't see that just on the figure there as it is but hey ho you know I guess if there was another one I could have picked picked one up and then opened one I guess and here is Ara Singh and this is I believe is our first ever figure a pretty odd looking shape on her and she doesn't have her antenna on this one and I kind of hummed and hard whether I wanted to pick this one up, but uh, finally decided I would I would get a. Uh, I don't have many bounty hunters, so I figured I might as well bolster me ranks. And I'm really having a Wookiee binge, so uh, I, I had to pick up this tube back there. He's, this is when he's uh, fixing the Millennium Falcon, and he's actually a pretty tall tube back there. Um, as you can see by this collection 2, um, that Chewbacca is considerably taller. And this is the one where he's doing the, the Macarena. After he's won a game of chess and he's... Or as Chewbacca's go. Uh, so there you go. Pretty interesting figure. Obviously, uh, you know, his arms are pretty much stuck behind his head. But, uh, you know... I guess if you wanna, if he's being naughty, you can always sort of tell him to sit in the corner and put his hands on his head for being a naughty wookie. Continuing with the collection two, here is Snaggletooth, who was a favourite of mine as a kid, the originals, and this one's quite a lot different. I mean, he still has the same little emblem on his belt and a similar colour, but uh, he's just totally different looking. Uh, the fact that he's like, the know, just kind of looks a bit like a mutated to Dennis Waltman there or something uh, and articulated knees really I don't don't quite understand that but it's he's a cantina patron so it'll go with me other cantina people so that's excellent and I do like me droids so I was over the moon to see that I had a Kia P so sorry not a Kia P a Kia 3 PO and uh, this is the one from Hoth, you can tell that because he's white. And that's not a smudge on his chest, that's how it's supposed to look, as you can see in the picture next one. So that's a nice little droid there, well chuffed to have picked him up. And I've decided to start getting some Padme armadillos. And uh, this one's obviously not Padme, this is the decoy, uh, famously played by Kira Knightley. When she was about nine or something. So there you go, that's that's her as a decoy. And then here is Queen Armadala in Agate, mourning a country being taken over. 
I will not condone an action that will lead my people to war. And here she is at the end of the film when she holds up a good glass ball and says, Peace! You know, that's a nice, uh, funny looking face on her. Why so serious? Why so serious? So there you go, that's the armadillo selection. Right, a few random rare, random rare? That's not probably what I was trying to say. Uh, here is Max Rebo. Uh, another two pack here with Duda Bonawidio on the sort of, I guess, saxophone is that. Uh, I have yet to find a Drooby McCool, but I do particularly want it because you do get the uh, cantina bar person there, which that would be pretty awesome to have. A nice update, modern update on these. Uh, although it looks very similar to the original. But I suppose it would do, seeing as that was kind of what he looked like he was playing in the movie. Right, got a Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back. And this is one that comes with his face totally mashed up. So that's a really nice looking figure. His goggles look a bit large like, but uh, yeah, what's, what can you do? The Wampai wasn't there, or at least I couldn't see him or find him. Uh, do particularly want that Wampai, looks really, really cool. Cool, well he would do if he's from Hoff. And here is this very nice Covert Ops Clone Trooper. And he has some excellent detail on him. Nice paint, deco and everything, all shiny, grey and camouflage-y. Uh, comes with two guns, a big blaster and stuff. And there's a picture of the figure on the back of what he looks like. And I think this one that was like an exclusive he won that one. So it was pretty sweet, sweet little pickup. And dun dun dun, Star Trek! Eh? Star Trek? No. Star Wars whole video, what you got a Star Trek video uh, figure in there for? Well, he was in the box and I thought, I don't have this one. I do love this uh, Playmates line. Uh, figured for a couple of quid I'd pick him up. So I did, and he's from the Warp Factor series too. Yeah, that's how the figures in the wave. Right, now then. Anybody out there a fan of the expanded universe? Mm hmm. Managed to find some of these fantastic expanded universe figures. Here is Mayor Jade. And here you have a picture of them from the comic book. The action figure itself, and these have really, in, not this one so much, but the other ones have really interesting looking lightsabers. So I'll show you now. The back of these cards are quite thick, and they do fold out to kind of do these little uh, display diorama things, and each one has a different one. And there's the collection along the bottom there. I believe they were all there bar Luke, although I could have just been too excited and not seen Luke. So because they were all there, I thought, well, it'd be rude not to pick them all up, wouldn't it? So there's uh, Grand Admiral Thorne with his little snaky thing around his neck. I do have a more modern version of this guy, but he's a pretty cool looking character and uh, always worth picking up. And there's his diorama thing on the back there. There was Princess Leia. Now, this is what I was talking about the lightsabers to kind of go from really different, kind of more like a bog roll tube holder handle on them which is uh, quite mad and there's Princess Leia with a cape and slightly monkeyish looking face <laughs> and again her diorama there's a few more to go so you, you will be hearing the word diorama a few more times and Kyle Carton uh, kind of doesn't really look that much like his picture and I believe this one's from a video game uh, so there he is Bit more of the older style power of the force body on him but uh, you know interesting sort of random little known character there and here is the Emperor's clone nice looking face on him which the flash would bugger off a bit like there you go and he comes with some sort of swampy thing with a planet behind him and then I've left these three because these are my favourites from this line this one here the Imperial Sentinel 
and he looks like something off Plum and Buck Rogers or something, you know, he's definitely a uh, odd sci-fi looking helmet and things on him, but a really cool figure, like just, he's just a block really, but uh, he just, he looks the part, definitely looks the part, over the moon of getting him, also over the moon of getting this guy, this uh, Dark Trooper, and this one's from the video game as well, but uh, he's just gigantic, kind of I guess a, a precursor to the um, Super Battle Droid, I guess. And Space Trooper. Now, unfortunately, this one has got quite a yellowed uh, bubble, but uh, I think I would like quite like to see this one out of the pack. I'd like to be fair. Um, and there he is. So that's the Space Trooper, and he was 2000 gen. There you go. And that's it. That's all I've got at the moment. Uh, like I say, there is more that I have picked up that I have yet to show on you. But these were the latest. So thanks for watching. Uh, obviously, let us know what you think, and I'll catch you later on.